Hi, uh, Miss Janet here, and I am excited to read to you um, the beginning of a chapter book. And actually, it's called I Survived the Nazi Invasion 1944. And as some of you know, there's a lot of, I think our library has just about every single I Survived book in the series. Um, but the reason why I'm excited about this is we are um, going to have our second uh, month of a book club. For those of you who are interested between the ages of 8 to 12, um, and this was the next book that we um, selected, so let's begin. I Survived the Nazi Invasion 1944 by Lauren Tarshish. And the question begins, do you have what it takes to survive? And you know, it's interesting because on every new chapter page, um, and you may want to think about this. There's a bird on a wire. What do you think the reason for that is? And this book is dedicated to the Jewish partisans of World War II, with special mention to those whose incredible life stories I discovered, this is the author speaking, in my research and inspired the characters in this book. And then there is the list of um, folks that inspired her. Chapter 1, August 10th, 1944, Loda Forest, and this is in eastern Poland. All across Europe, Jewish people were being hunted. Millions were already dead, but 11-year-old Max Rosen was determined to stay alive. Max thought that he and his little sister Zena would be safe in this forest. But now they were caught in a massive bombing attack. German planes roared through the sky, dropping 1,000 pound bombs that fell with shattering explosions. Kaboom! Enormous trees became flaming torches. Sparks showered down like burning snowflakes. Twisted metal and razor sharp shards of wood blew up all around them. And this was only the beginning. Soon, soldiers with machine guns would stampede through the forest hunting for people who had survived the explosions and fires. Anyone they caught would be shot on the spot. Well, Max gripped Zena's hand, and they ran for their lives. Their only hope was a nearby swamp. They could hide in the mud and slime with the snakes and the snapping turtles and the razor-sharp glass. But then came the largest explosion of all. Kaboom! The force ripped Max away from Zena and sent him flying through the air. His body twisted and turned. His mind swirled with terror. Smack! He landed in a ditch. He lay there dazed. Was he still alive? But then there was a thundering crack above. Max looked up just in time to see a massive flaming tree crashing down on top of him. I just wanted to share with you a few more thoughts and facts um, that the author has shared with us. And that is that the events in this book, part of what is known as the Holocaust, are among the most terrible in all of history. The author says, I'm Jewish, and I remember first learning about Hitler and the Nazis when I was about your age. It's all so frightening to think about. There were times while I was writing this book and when I wondered if the subject was just too horrifying to include in the I Survive series. But many hundreds of you asked for a story on this topic, and so I decided to do my best to write about the Holocaust in a way that wasn't simply terrifying. I just wanted to create a story that would inspire you. And so, my friends, if you would like to... Um, read this series with us, um, and come to the book club, I encourage you to do so. And again, I'm so excited to meet each of you, and um, we can explore this very interesting topic in a challenging time. And so hopefully I will get to meet each and every one of you on Thursday, April the 13th um, at 4 o'clock. Our book club is from 4 to 5 here at the library. Thank you. Bye.